Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and you find us on the banks of a beautiful lake at the beginning of spring. Now, the important thing I'm going to talk about in the next few minutes are the little nuances and edges that I personally use in spring. Now, don't get too excited because I've been known latterly as a bait guy. Well, I'm going to throw that out of the window. We have done many videos and many uploads, including on our YouTube site, of pre-spawning and post-spawning so the bait aspect is there but what I want to do is talk about the little edges that I use consistently in my springtime fishing that are part of the PB products range so no Charlie Charm pants about bait or no corporate plugs about buy this buy that what it is is good honest straightforward tips that I use so the first thing I would like to talk about is that oft forgotten PVA system now the thing about PVA system is that the word that emphasises what we do is system. So you've got various products within the range. So we've got the stockings, we've got the sticks, we've got the tapes, we've got the string. So there's a multitude, we've got of course the solid bags, so there's a multitude of PVA products within our range. So you might say to yourself, I get confused Holmesy, what's the best way that I can get a full scope of what's available but more importantly what are the tactics that you would use with each particular product well let's try and clear away some of the uh, fogginess and make it simple for you well the first thing i'd say is the pva bag now the one thing about solid pva bag fishing is it allows quick time fishing so if you are on a new water if you are on a water overnight if you're unsure about the bottom if you're unsure about any of the topography, a PVA bag is really the system to go to. And that's why if you look at the match fraternity in carp fishing, you'll see them talk about it quite a lot. I put a solid bag out on the fish, I put a solid bag out on the fish. And it basically is, in essence, it not just creates a feeding, localised feeding spot in my book, it creates a clear spot. So you're not having to worry about feathering the cast down, dunking for a clear spot, fishing on the edge of weed, fishing in the middle of a clear spot, all this. No, the PVA bag creates your own hot spot. And a little tip for you, and this is outside of the PB remit, there you go, you can buy it in bird foods for next to nothing. It is not something that the fish eat, but what it will do, it will allow you to use a bottom bait, a wafter or a pop-up, and if you use a solid bag, fill it with Rio grit, you will find that you can create in any weed bed or any silkweed your own clear spot because remember what I've always said when you're fishing in weed the most important part of the all of the rig matrix is your boiler your hair and your hook and if you keep them three things clear of obstruction then you're fishing correctly so there's the solid PVA bags now then here's my personal favorite and you've heard me talk about it lots and lots and that's the PVA stocking now I absolutely go through this. I think uh, the guys at PB think I'm eating it because it is literally um, a fantastic product. And the reason why I love it so much, it's got a multitude of uses in Mark Holmes's fishing. And I like to use it in order as, a, a, as something that gives me anti-tangle properties, something that allows me to fish bait close to my hook bait. All these scenarios are something that you can use with this. but. I actually also have a double edge to it and by the makeup of the, the, the boilies and the baits that I put in the stocking you can get different uses. uses. So what, let, let's put some, uh, put some meat on the bones and describe it. So there you have what I would call is what I would say is 75% of my fishing in the spring and that is uh, the 15 mil boilies in there and there's seven of them and what I tend to do is I tend to have quite a long tag on there and the reason why I have a long tag on there is that that allows me if I need to fish a long air to secure the air by wrapping it around if you actually uh, are fishing with a, a, a de-rig situation where you've not got a long air in other words you've got it on a on a rig ring running around the D system then all you need to basically do is just simply cut it down now here's a little tip for you, what I've always found with these particular bags is don't make the mistake of hooking the bait through the knot end. 
And the reason for that is that that can leave more of a residue. What I tend to do is try and get, and we'll be doing cutaways, John, our cameraman, our lovely cameraman, will be doing cutaways so we can see this. But what I like to do is hook them in through the mesh so that it's on the cast and it comes off quickly. Now, the reason why I chose, chose PBB products, because don't forget, boys and girls, I've been with them 10 years. I'm not some fly now, I've been with them for a long, long time. And the one thing about this PVA, which a lot of people don't know, is you know how fastidious I am about my baits? Well, I'm also fastidious about my rigs, and I've done tank tests. And what I've found with the PB, 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 PVA is that it melts at a very low temperature. This will completely melt at about eight, nine, or 10 degrees, which in winter time is reasonable water to get a bite in. Once it's six and under, then the PVA does slow down, but that also coincides with a lot less um, uh, activity from the fish. And in those situations, I've found our PVA string works best. Because if you think about it realistically, there's the PVA string. The amount of PVA around those seven boilies is far more than the PVA around those three boilies. And you can see simply the important part about this is that you tie a knot at the bottom of it so it doesn't slip. If I pull that there, you can see that, that that's held quite in place. So any movement, if I look, you see the movement comes higher up. And the best way I've found this to avoid tangles is I will put the hook, I'll see if I can do it. Let me get a rig out. There we go, boys and girls. And you'll see the sort of scenario that I'm talking about. I would put it on over the top like that. And what I would do, if I've got a long air like I have on this, this has actually been used as um, uh, uh, one with two baits on. But I would simply secure it like that. So you can see quite clearly that what happens is if you put that PVA string tight to the um, bend of the hook, it acts like anti-tangle from stopping the air tangling and it casts out perfectly. And in cold water conditions, which you can get in spring, because there isn't as much PVA material, it melts a lot quicker. Now then, little niche, little, again, two little additives. When I'm going very, very long range, I'll take this string off. When I'm going very, very long range, I like to simply put two boilies and again if you noticed I keep away from the knots and I go through the middle and people say well why do you actually use that and again it's twofold it's one for the anti-tangle properties that straightens it out and stops it coming back on itself and the other one is that even at distance I've got two freebies to a hook bait which gives me a, a I don't like fishing with single hook baits. I've said it in the past. The other one that I want to show you is, um, if I take this off, just about do that, is the tape. Now you might say to yourself, well, why would Ormsey use tape rather than string? And again, what I like to do is very old school. The one thing about tape which you can do is you can actually have it like the string so that it goes on like that. And you can see that's a loop. And then what I would then do, I would have another loop at the back of it. So it would come round and it would go again through it. So can you see there, I've created like a round stringer. And then I would simply put that to the back. And there you can see what it simply does. If I put it on the back of my hand, you can see quite clearly I can bloody do it. You can see quite clearly that it enhances the locking in of the boiler that's the hook bait and the bait comes round the front and round the back. And it's something that up to about 80, 90 yards can catch quite easily. And of course, over the years, I think it's been called a round stringer or what. Um, the other thing about the tape as opposed to the string, which I think is very important. And again, John will show this when we do the cuts uh, the, the close-ins, is that you can actually hook it through the tape. So can you see there? Now what, what that does is that does secure it a little bit more. 
you can actually also move the boilies up so can you see there how it's tight to that so there is there's room in it so to answer the question about when string and when tape I would use string if I was just doing loop to loop but I would if I was doing loop to loop but needed to vary a little bit then I would use the tape because the tape if I can show you here where's the tape there you go simple mechanics look at the string and look at the tape that is to simply thread on and tie on but because of the thickness of the tape we can actually also hook into there so to go over all ground we've got quite a comprehensive range of pva we've got the meshes we've got the sticks i haven't done the stick where you put in your, your crush down boilies or your pellets or whatever because that's pretty straightforward but we've got the stick refills we've got the stockings we've got the uh, pva string and we've got the tape and we've got the solid bags obviously solid bags you need the string to put around the uh, the top of it so i'm hoping that you can see that if you're a pva angler and you want to keep your baiting down to a minimum you've not got much time you're doing quick overnights then i think you'll find that the pva range that we've got from pb covers all the angles that you need